Hello everyone, it's Magic here. First of all, I'm bringing the fisheye look back officially with this 15mm APS-C lens that I'm using on my full-frame Sony A7S III. How do you like it? It's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a fisheye. So yeah, I'm bringing this back for this video. Um, and actually today I just wanted to give you a little heads up because my favorite calling tool, Narrative Select, is coming to Windows. Many of you have asked about it in the past when I was showcasing the Narrative Select. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. I just have a good relationship with them and this is my go-to calling tool. So let me show you how I actually use it. So my calling process is that I keep my all of my RAWs in just one folder and I do import that full folder to Narrative Select and then it takes around 10 to 15 minutes for Narrative to you know get all the face recognition in every picture and like assessment of the which eyes are open and closed, how sharp are the images and it does divide my photos into scenes so all the photos that are kind of the same or taken at the same moment are divided into a single scene which makes it easy for me to call because then I simply go from left to right going image after image having the panel with the close-up faces on the right so I can see if the faces if they look good in the picture if the eyes are open and then when it comes to the group pictures this is actually the biggest thing because I tend to take a lot of group pictures and I tend to overshoot them because I don't want people to have eyes closed in them so let's say I have a group of 10-15 people I might take even 30 photos of that one single group just like kind of bursting also the way I work with the group is I kind of you know animate them a bit so um, I'm getting reaction from them so that's why I'm just like constantly shooting and kind of talking to them to get the best uh, like group photo and then the calling is so much easier if I have all of these photos from that one group uh, divided into one scene then I go into that scene and in this point I start from the last image usually one of the last is the best and I see the indications from narrative showing me which, in which photos people have their eyes open and closed and I just choose from the ones that people have their eyes open obviously so yeah the, the tool makes it super easy for me um, I, it takes around hour and a half have to have it all called and after the calling process I'm gonna select all the photos that I picked so my picks uh, I, I select them and I move them to a separate folder and that separate folder is what I will import to Lightroom and generate smart previews. So Narrative Select is pretty crucial to my workflow and I cannot stress enough how awesome it is. And there is a free version of it. So I know that many of you have used it thanks to my recommendation. So if you wanna try it out, check out the link in the description. You can sign up for a free plan. With a free plan, you'll get like six projects of a pro plan for free. But to be honest, the free plan, in my opinion, is enough but you have to just check it out for yourself so now available on both Mac and PC for those of you who are not Mac lovers so thanks so much for watching this video thanks so much to Narrative for making awesome software and yeah I'll see you guys very soon in the next video ciao